coming from Helmet Falls Campground. There's a nice falls right up there. Get to hear that while you soup and watch it while you cook. Uh, so we just ate breakfast, packed up. Going a little slower today, I think, because we had to take the tent down. Probably added some time. Uh, we got a big day, 19.2 kilometers to cover. So we'll see how that goes. Makes it the second longest day in the whole trip. And Liam has used all his fancy products, his deodorant and his dry shampoo. Wow. And he's all fancy out here with his <laughs> scents and his cleanliness. Oh, yes. Anyways, that's about all there is to say. Day three. Mm -hmm. Take feeling one day at a time. Oh, yes. Not feeling crazy sore yet. Get a rest day tomorrow. Or not a rest day, but a sleep rest day. day. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say. Yeah, catch See. on the flippity flip. <laughs> Alrighty, it's been on the go just under an hour. We're crushing elevation, crushing miles. Day three, 13 more to go. I'm feeling pretty good. How you feeling right now, Liam? Pretty decent. A little tired, but I think I'm ready for a. Uh, I'm ready for a break in the next probably 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Ah, we'll hit you back then. <laughs> Just ate a snack to this. No. That's not the saying though, is it? No. Anyways, <clears throat> took our first break here. Nice little viewpoint. 3.5K done. Good no. chunk of elevation done. There is the rock wall and it goes down there. And it's a big wall of rock, basically. Um, yeah, so we're making decent pace. Uh, whatever 19.2 minus 3.5 is, that's how many K we have left today. Um, so still a good amount of distance. But we broke a chunk off of the elevation, so feeling good. We'll get going in the next minute or two here, and then take another stop in probably another hour or so. Feeling good, though. Uh-huh. Creek is Liam Towered. Log? Yep. Log and stump thingy. It's a pretty small creek. It's not a big deal. It's got waterproof boots on anyways. He makes it! Oh my god! And the crowd goes wild! Taking a quick break at Tumbling Creek. Sure is tumbling. Excuse me? Sure is tumbling. Oh, God. Anyways, yesterday we tried to make it here. Didn't make it. Uh, so we finished the 12 from Helmet to here. Then there's another 7-ish to Numa, where we're staying tonight. Tomorrow is going to be a nice short day, so we'll get to sleep in a bit. Um, so, yeah, we're just fueling up before our last climb of the day. It's kind of divided into, like, three main elevation gain parts if you go from helmet to numa uh, saw some trail runners some insane people i should say oh, yeah. probably doing like 40k or something stupid um we've got a nice little break spot right here by the creek you can see the bridge we just came over is there and it's slightly collapsed and then we head up this way up towards our last pass of the day and then sleep good tonight. Okay, the audio can't be very good, but we're at the summit of a pass. I don't think it has a name. Maybe it does. There's a very sexy glacier right there and a sexy mountain. I think it's called Numa Peak, uh, but we're really liking the glacier. And we're debating favorite colors. Liam's is orange, like my pack cover. Mine is blue, like, glacier. like the blue sky and the blue glacier. And everything else that's blue, his jacket's blue. Um, we had a spot of rain that really pissed us both off, even though it only lasted like 10 minutes. But I was, yeah, I was so frustrated for 10 minutes and then the rain stopped. Funny how that works, eh? Yeah. Uh, but now, hopefully, no more rain, hopefully. And uh, 
Passerbyers coming up. We'll get to Numa Creek for a nice evening and a sleep in tomorrow. Oh yeah. Uh, so I'm in bed at uh, Numa Creek and I'm really tired because we did 19 kilometers today and we came to the harsh realization that we didn't pack enough food um, so that was a big morale hit uh, so we've reached out to our resuppliers and they're going to bring us extra and we talked to some people at the campsite tonight and uh, they were very generous. They gave us tuna and cheese and uh, oatmeal and cliff bars and all sorts of stuff. Um, so that'll really help us get to our first resupply where hopefully there's just like a ton of food waiting for us. Um, but yeah, it's day three. Coming to a close, day four begins tomorrow. We get to sleep in tonight. Um, yeah, what else? Um, haven't really seen much wildlife yet. I've seen some little squirrels, that's about it. Big birds yesterday. Uh, what else, what else? We've busted a massive chunk of uh, distance and elevation off the trip, so that's good, that feels good. Um, but yeah, the underpacking of the food is kind of the thing on both of our minds right now. It's unfortunate. Hopefully, though, we get to the resupplies, get lots of stuff, keep talking to people at campsites, and we should, uh, should be able to pull through this. There's no reason to quit yet. I'm not going to let that stop us. Come on. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired, and Liam's going to get in here soon. And it's going to become the stinkiest bag of nylon you've ever smelt in your life. But I'm so tired I don't think I care. So we'll see if Liam has anything to add to the vlog and uh, then we'll head out. There he is. How's it going? Got anything to say to the folks? Uh, just took off my boots for the first time and my feet look pretty weird. But... Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? Mine had an orange spot on them. Just it's a mystery taking your boots off for the first time after a big haul. Yeah, mine were wrinkly like you get in the bathtub and then they had some orange and red circles on them. So yeah. Only 13 days to our next shower. So. <laughs> oh, if only you had smell-o-vision. Anyways, that's a long enough vlog entry. Three minutes. Thanks. Um, yeah, maybe one more today. I don't know. Pretty tired. If not, see you tomorrow.